Let's get to the sports talk. 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 Sports I want to turn over every single rock. So, yeah, we're looking at everybody. Cam's a good quarterback. He's done a lot of good things with the Panthers. Led them to a Super Bowl. He's had some injuries. If he's healthy, he's going to be a good quarterback for somebody. I would like to add my own two cents. If he's healthy, he's going to be a great quarterback for somebody. And I happen to have these numbers very fresh in my mind because Hembo and I just worked up a little uh, essay on Cam Newton that will air next week. Cam Newton, when he was healthy, Dominique, was not a good player. He was a great player. I, I think sometimes underappreciated how great he was. I, I think that he feels much more worth a risk right now than someone like Tua, based upon our having seen with our own eyes what he can do in the NFL. What do you think? Well, I mean, I think that Tua is a long-term solution. I understand what you're saying, but I think you risk you, the high reward for Tua is you have a quarterback for 10, 15 years. I mean, Cam Newton, if he returns to his form, you can't expect him to do that for much longer. That's for a, a team that's ready to make a Super Bowl run right now. I think that Cam Newton fits that mold, and he's very good, and he can succeed in that fashion. But I don't. I, if I have the choice between those two quarterbacks, it just Cam just got to show them that he's healthy. That's all. That's the risk that they're looking at. Like, is he gonna be healthy when we bring him in and be the guy? That's the only thing they're gonna pay attention to. Is he going to be reliable for the season? Is he going to be fully healthy when that time comes? Because he worth the, the risk when he's when he healthy, he's a great player. Like, he could change a team in an instant. It's just when he's healthy. That's the only thing they're going to look at. That's why some teams probably hesitate a little more. They want to make sure he's fully healthy. Because they're going to bring him in to work out and see how everything he is. And they're going to get their team doctors as evaluate him and see how he's doing is before he signed to a contract. I think I, I think I might go with Tua just because the uh, expectation of having a, a uh, fixture at the quarterback position for years to come, as opposed to Cam Newton, who best case scenario is you're going to get Cam Newton for three, four, maybe five more years. Let, let, let's analyze that statement for a moment. Uh, Cam Newton is 30. He'll be 31 when next season begins. Why are we writing him off when these guys are playing into their 38, 39, 43 years of age? Ryan, Ryan's right. We got a new greenie out here because you're the one who's always talking about how there's so many kids that are running back to take that Cam Newton is that guy. Like, this is this is unusual, Greeny. Who are you? This is this quarantine, this epidemic has gotten to you in ways that I can't imagine. You know why Cam Newton is not going to be playing while he's 45. Because he's Cam Newton and he runs people over. Like, I think he can continue to play the way that he is. But if you think that Cam Newton is going to somehow... Nah, Cam Newton's not going to play until he's 40. And he'll go play at least till he like 33, 34, 35, at least at the most. Because the the different skill set that he have, he's a he's a mobile quarterback. And he like to run, so his body get banged up a whole lot. If he was a pocket passer, it'd be a different situation. Now he could play into his forties, but he's not a pocket passer. And why they want to see who could they choose between two and and um, Cam, because they both had the, the injury history. So both of them, if you bring both of them in, you got to make sure they fully healthy for the whole season. So it's a risk on both parts. Transform into a pocket passing quarterback. No, and no one wants that. The league is not a pocket passing league anymore. Those quarterbacks are no longer in vogue, and Cam Newton is not going to be able to run people over for, for 10 more years until he's 40. All right, then let me get more specific with you, Ryan Clark. The Chargers in particular have a, a playoff caliber team, and right now they have Tyrod Teller as their starting quarterback. If you were in their shoes, would you sign Cam Newton? I would sign Cam Newton, and I understand what Dominique is saying. If you have to take one of the two, if you're thinking long-term for the Los Angeles Chargers, but I don't know if Anthony Lynn has long-term. What he does have is a quarterback in Tyrod Taylor that's going to play a specific brand of offensive football, and Cam Newton can fit that brand, and we know when Cam Newton is healthy, and he doesn't have to necessarily be what he once was in his MVP season. If he's healthy, if he can move around, if he can make plays, if he can do some of the fascinating things that made us fall in love with him. He is your starting quarterback. And if that's Yes. He's your starting quarterback. If y'all bring him in 
just play at a, a high level at least. When you're not playing at your MVP level that you once was, just play at a good level because you got the skill set around you. You have the weapons and Ken Allen, Williams, um, Banks. Like he, he had the guys around him. Ken Allen and Williams are two targets. Cam Newton ain't, ain't had no type of elite wide right receivers on a team. If he go with them, it will help him elevate his game to a whole nother level leading into his 30s. Because Cam Newton, if you look at the list he had in Carolina, he ain't really had no guys that really panned out and he ain't really had the guys he could go to. With Ken Allen and Williams there, he got the guys to go to. For three, if that's for four years, you get high-level quarterback play in the league that has now turned into everyone wanting someone similar to Cam Newton. Are there some things he needs to change about his game from a physicality standpoint? Yes, but I've been watching his videos because that's the way we have to tell the world that we're healthy now, the same way Tua Tungabaloa is, and this is a guy who looks like he's moving around well, he's running stadiums, he's running sprints, he's throwing the football. Cam Newton is a guy I want in my building because now he's motivated and he's a guy who seems he's more motivated. Will everyone get a fresh start? They tend to succeed because it's a breath of fresh air. It's new environment. That's what Cam Newton probably need. He probably need to get into that new carcement, that new, that new everything. And get away from the old and get with the new so he could be able to get back to once he was was. Everyone need that fresh start. And when you get that fresh start, you tend to take off again. Be healthy, he can help you win games, especially with some of the offensive talent in Los Angeles. Yeah, it feels like a risk that someone uh, has a chance to, to wind up getting a, a really big reward on. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. Stuffing them shits in the safe Got me a spot out the way Nigga just trying to be safe